fair warning, you're gonna see a lot of things done to a transmission that you should never do to a good transmission or one that you want to actually use in the future. This is for entertainment purposes only. This is not a how-to video. Let's get into it. Hi ho, Keegan the Vlog here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is my kind of homage parody to I do cars. I also do cars. Um, this is a Volkswagen 020 transmission from the uh, mid-1980s to early 1990s. So think Mark II, Golf, Jetta, uh, probably Scirocco, that sort of thing. Uh, this came with our barn find Mark II uh, turbo diesel, and it is locked up solid. So there is no, no, um, no idea where this thing was. It was just, uh, it, you know, he kind of threw it at us. Uh, <laughs> brought it over and threw it in the truck when we were picking up the Volkswagen. So um, I don't think this thing is usable, but uh, we're going to take this apart. Uh, one, because it's pretty cool to see inside of a transmission. I see a lot of engine teardown videos. I don't see a lot of transmission teardown videos out there. So maybe that's just the algorithm because of what I do. But uh, if you are interested in seeing the guts of an 020 transmission, Volkswagen 020 transmission, this is your video. Stay tuned. Let's get into it. got to get this off in order to get the rest of the bolts off. Okay, uh, got to get this plug out in order to get the fifth gear fork off. Yeah! Springy. So you keep doing that. Booyah. Booyah! It actually doesn't matter. This is never going back together. Don't, don't take it apart this way. I'm gonna link to a, a page that tells you how to do this if you actually want to, I don't know, use your transmission again. Uh, this <laughs> is, <laughs> who would wanna do that exactly? All right, that's done. Update cam time. We found some information about this specific transmission. The 4K transmissions were not US market transmissions. That's what that little asterisk means. Uh, ours was built on 27 March 1984. And these are somewhat special. They're close ratio. We believe this is a diesel transmission. And there are parts inside of this transmission that are probably still valuable, most specifically that input shaft with the close ratio gears. So what we're going to do is bag some of these parts up, specifically the gears, keep them nice and safe, and possibly rebuild that input shaft with the close ratio gear set and sell that to somebody who, I don't know, might be building a race car out of a Mark II. Okay, back to the destruction. There you go. Just throw it in there. Oh yeah, there, there's that. That's cool. Like, it's a little it's like okay. forest fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all right. <laughs> Nothing's really on fire here. We just had to breathe on it a little bit. Okay. There it goes. Got it. Just gotta push it from the right thing. There. Oh yeah, that's coming. Yeah, coming right off. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Boing! 
Oh, this this says you have to have a puller to separate that from the. <laughs> What'd you get there? What the hell is that? It's oh, the, it's oh, this, oh! It's this grease seal for these bearings. bearings in here. Yeah. So this thing, look at this crazy contraption. Um, take this bolt out. This is not uh, a how-to video. <laughs> we say again, not a how-to video, but check it out. The rivets aren't broken in here. That's Actually, this is not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be inside here. I thought this was going to be all sorts of rusty. There's more rust than I would expect to see in the inside of the transmission. You know, like look at the metal. Look at the other side of this shift. Oh, it's the magnet. Look at the other side of the shift. Oh, I mean, yeah, look like, at that. That's pretty fucking gross. That is gross. Like, that's, that's unhappy. Yeah, it is. That, and there's rust all inside this freaking. Yeah, look at look at all that rust. That's rust, rust, rust. There's like, look at all that freaking schmeg on the inside of this case. Like that's Oof. that's where water and oil has made fucking, soup. Yeah, Trans I believe it's more of a stew. Transmission a stew. Transmission Volkswagen porridge. Let's see what the magnet looks like. Look look at this. It's just, yeah. Not good. No, not good. Yeah, there's definitely some oh. some water intrusion in this. It's not opinion, is it? There you go. Boom. And now here's your fourth gear. Yep. And there's your whole input shaft. There we go. Yeah. There we go. There's one. That's three ringy dingies. Oh, what? Four is four ringy dingies. <laughs> With that needle bearing. I put two transmissions together in there. my life. Both of them are screwed up. Well, yeah, this, this one is never going back together again. At least not by me. Synchronizers. Sell them on Facebook Marketplace. Some assembly required. Yeah. There you go. There's there's the spring that causes all the trouble in there. Well, one thing about that, you can't flip it over to get the uh, transmission to reverse direction. Yeah, you know the DeLorean, you can. You can put it in backwards, and you, you'll have five reverse gears and one forward gear. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't done that, so <laughs> I don't know this by practical yes. experience. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, there's a Volkswagen transmission totally torn apart for no reason other than it was rusty. For science. For science. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a how-to video. Please refer to the internet for better instructions. Thank you and good night. Literally anyone on YouTube could have done a better job of, <laughs> of taking this transmission apart. Uh, for entertainment purposes only, the end. <laughs>